Hi, this is Lucia with The Art of Love. I'm a dating and relationship expert specializing in helping you get your ex back or to get over your ex. This week I want to talk about how to make it easier to stay in no contact. If you've heard some of my other videos, you may have heard me say that for me, no contact is super simple. It's a walk in the park. It's a piece of cake. But I know for most people it's not. So I wanted to figure out a way to make it easier for you so that it can also be a piece of cake for you. And I've found it. What is it? Well, stay tuned and you'll find out. But first, I want to welcome back my beautiful No Contact Army. If you haven't already, be sure to download my app Silencio so it will help you to stay in No Contact. And if you too would like to join the No Contact Army, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and you're in and to read our manual go to nocontactsecrets.com where you can read two free chapters before you purchase the book okay so i'm going to give you an example that is going to sound like it has nothing to do with no contact but it's actually how i realized that this is what you need in order to be able to stay in no contact so years ago when i would have to put on false lashes also known as falsies, I would get anxiety <laughs> and I would break out in a cold sweat and I would get glue on my nose, in my hair. It looked like I had a fight with the glue and it would take me like 20 minutes to get one eyelash on. And I would ask other people about how to put eyelashes on and be like, oh, it's so simple. Oh, it's really easy here. Just go la, 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 and, and that's it. And I'd be like, what? It's like, why can't I do it? Right. So for them, it was super simple. But for me, it was not a walk in the park. <laughs> it was a walk through hell. So then luckily, magnetic lashes appeared on the scene. And that changed my life. Magnetic lashes literally changed my life because now all I had to do was get the magnetic liner and put it on the top of my lashes and then get the eyelash, which also had magnets in it and poof. It was on in two seconds and then if it wasn't in the right position I would just move it over and that totally changed the game for me so I did that for a while and uh, then I decided to go back to the regular lashes the non-magnetic the ones with the glue and now it was super simple because I had gotten so used to the placement of the lash and seeing that it really wasn't that difficult that now it was super simple thank God <laughs> So I know that if you're in no contact for you, you might be me pre-magnetic lashes where you have a lot of anxiety. You may have, you may be breaking out in a cold sweat. I don't know if you're getting glue all over your face. I hope not, <laughs> but I understand what you're experiencing. So you need something like the magnetic lashes. For me, you need like training wheels, something that will take you to where you need to go. And I found out that that is meditation. Meditation will help you to stop being so impulsive and stop acting out whenever your feel fearful brain pops up and says, you better contact them. <laughs> You're never going to get them back. They're going to move on. They're going to forget you. You better contact them right now. <laughs> and it will also help you to make more logical decisions because you'll be using your prefrontal cortex more your logical part of the brain rather than the primitive part of the brain that is just worried about survival and it thinks that oh my god if you don't do something you're never going to get this person back which of course is not true it's actually in the not doing of something of doing nothing that will raise your chances of getting someone back and so the only way that you can control yourself learn to control yourself is through meditation meditation calms the mind and allows you to think more rationally when you get scared. So you can use an app like Calm and start off with just a few short minutes of meditation. You can go on a meditation retreat. One of my clients really recently went on a one day retreat because he was having a lot of anxiety. You can do a three day retreat and you will start to think differently and feel differently about the situation because otherwise you are gonna break no contact. And then if you don't get your ex back, because you broke no contact, then you're going to have only yourself to blame. So I know most people do not want to meditate. It's both the easiest, easiest and the hardest thing to do 
But if you're willing to do anything to get your ex back, as most people say, oh, I'll do anything to get my ex back, great. Then sit down and meditate and you will raise your chances of staying in no contact and of getting your ex back. And then it will be a piece of cake for you like it is for me, okay? So if you would like my help to get your ex back, you can contact me at theartoflove.net and we will send you the rates. The direct link is below every single video and podcast. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. If you're listening to this as a podcast, please rate and review. And finally, remember that love inspires, empowers, uplifts, and enlightens.